High Water invites us into a post-apocalyptic world where the streets have turned into canals and the only way to get around is by dinghy. Your Nico's on a mission to reach Alphaville and hitch a ride on a rocket away from this waterlogged nightmare. On paper, it sounds like a gripping tale of survival and escape wrapped in a visually striking package. And visually, it doesn't disappoint at first glance, presenting a colorful, cartoonish apocalypse that catches the eye. But as we all know, looks can be deceiving. Navigating through high water is a serene experience at the outset. There's something about drifting through flooded cityscapes, tunes from the game's eclectic soundtrack filling the air that's downright calming. But like a long voyage on still waters, the novelty soon wears off. The world, while vast, feels empty and monotonous, with little variation to break up the journey. The promise of exploration quickly fades when you realize there's not much worth discovering. Then there's the combat, a critical component of any strategy game. High Water attempts to bring something new to the table with environmental damage and a range of unique abilities for your crew. Initially, this adds a layer of tactical depth, with characters like Josephine wielding game-changing powers. Yet, this potential is undermined by an overall lack of challenge, turning battles into predictable affairs once you've found the winning formula. As for the narrative and its cast, High Water strives to deliver a compelling story. There are moments of humor and clever nods to the broader themes of environmental catastrophe and societal collapse. However, these moments are few and far between, lost in a sea of lengthy dialogues and underdeveloped characters. The game's message, though relevant, struggles to make a lasting impact amidst its storytelling shortcomings. High Water also battles against a current of technical and design issues, from clunky menus to a camera that seems to have a mind of its own. These problems might not sink the ship on their own, but they do make the journey less enjoyable, distracting from the game's stronger points. Despite its flaws, there's a charm to High Water that's hard to ignore. The passion of its creators shines through the cracks, offering glimpses of what could have been a truly remarkable game. While it may not reach the heights it aims for, there's enough here to keep an eye on what this team does next. So, should you set sail with High Water? If you're a fan of strategy games and are looking for something with a unique setting, it might be worth dipping your toes in. Just be prepared for a journey that, while visually appealing, might leave you wishing for more substance beneath the surface. And that's it for our deep dive into High Water. What do you think? Are you planning to give it a try or will you be waiting for clearer waters? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell for more reviews and gaming contents. Until next time, keep your life jackets handy and your adventures grand.